click the link to join the channel become a member check out the various other links so uh, more filth and degeneracy from the usual suspects how stunning and brave to push all these other well there's two other abrahamic religions um push those people out of the way and attack christians in 2022 that that really takes courage um I mean, how do you, like, the smarm and the, how do these people live with each other? I mean, how do they, like, how do they make these kind of movies and think, in 2022, and think they're, like, they're doing something. They're, we're speaking truth to power. We're, we're talking about Christians and, and blonde people and maybe even Trump. We'll do, we'll do a Trump play in there. Yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, there are other groups that, like, you, you're not allowed to make fun of in America. And, um, I mean, the, it, there's evidence of that because you don't make fun of those other groups just christians and you know people of european descent you know it's it's kind of not everyone on the left is, is going to be this brainwashed like doesn't anyone raise their hand and go hey so there's these other other collections of people that we could make a play about and go oh uh yeah yeah i mean if you really wanted to be you know edgy and speak truth to power it's like why don't you why don't you do something that has some consequences to it you know put put do a little bit something that has some risk make fun of christians in 2022, has no risk at all. Making fun of blonde people. Oh, hey, we're making fun of Trump. Okay, but you know, again, I'm, I'm noticing this theme. It's like you're picking, you're picking the softest, safest targets. You're not actually doing anything. You're not speaking truth to power. Uh, or you know, the Saturday Night Live making fun of uh, Trump for four years. Fair enough. Okay, but now someone else is in office who has a press secretary who I think is developmentally disabled, and that you know the president has got his own cognitive issues. You gonna make fun of those? Ah, not so much. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not entertaining. It's not funny when there's no willing suspension of disbelief. It's another play about Christians or blonde people or Republicans. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. You've done that. I mean, it's like you're pushing these other other groups out of the way. I can't even name them on YouTube because like you want to know who your masters are. It's like those you can't criticize. Um, you're pushing those groups out of the way because making doing a play about those groups. You just couldn't do it. I mean, you're not insane. You're not crazy. You're not. You know what would happen if you did plays on that. That's just probably as much as I can say on that. I mean, but you know what I'm saying. It's like even if you're on the left, you got to look at this and go like, yeah, this is getting kind of old. I mean, this like 2022 making fun of making fun of Christianity. I mean, especially when there's, you know, there's other issues at play in, in on the world on the world set today, and and you're like you're going after this this group. It seems like you've really kind of, oh, I tell you what, we'll do, we'll do another play about World War II, and uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about the Germans, and they're going to be the bad guys. Okay, I mean, it seems like you've really covered that ground. There's, there's other, you know, there was, the Japanese were also in that war. You want to do the, 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 the Pacific Theater, cover that issue? The, the atrocities they did in, in Korea and in China, and pretty much everywhere the Japanese went, they were committing atrocities. No, not so much. We're not gonna we're not gonna cover that crime. We just want to let sleeping dogs lay. Okay, but again, you're just you're just beating the same dead horse with these same same stories over and over. I tell you what, we're gonna have a comic book about uh, small town America, and it's gonna be uh, blonde people who think they're uh, who think they're better than other people. You know those kind of groups. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've you've done that for the past fifty years. It's it's like that's not really the th that's not the threat at all. That's not the danger at all. No matter what Mayorkas or uh, or Garfinkel says, it, those aren't the threat in America by any metric. Those are not the threat. Um, the other groups are. are. Would, would you like to do a comic about those? Um, you know, other other um, groups that commit malum and say activities on a large scale. Oh no, you can't even crowdfund. Mike Miller tries to crowdfund a, a comic book, Lone Star, on a I don't know Kickstarter or something. Um, and no, no, those are marginalized and oppressed groups. The the collections of young men who commit these malum and say acts because they have a, a tan, they're marginalized and oppressed, but they commit the most horrific uh, malum and say events. And you're not allowed to make a comic book that loosely touches on them. No, no, no. But what you can do is make a blonde motorcycle gang who terrorizes a small town. Okay, but that's ridiculous. No matter what Al Ewing seems to believe or, or what these idiots in Hollywood seem to believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll shave their heads, but they'll all have blue eyes. And they'll be like, so they're going to, they're the groups that secretly control Detroit, St. Louis, Oakland, Chicago, LA, like the, 
the blonde haired motorcycle gangs that's yeah 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 that you can do a neo a neo uh, hugo boss group uh, in small town america yeah you can do that but that's that's retarded i mean surely like doesn't even if you're on the left and i know you're drinking the kool-aid like doesn't it doesn't it click with you that this is like we're just getting so far out from reality there's, I mean, in the Middle East right now, they're doing the hijab thing. It's like, oh, we should cover that play, cover that issue. And there's, I mean, there's um, the, the Woman King, right? Um, the Dahomey tribe <laughs> who fought, I think, the English or the British to, to maintain their way of trading um, carbon-based workforce. Um, yeah, yeah, we're going to change the story up. Okay, but I mean, why don't you do a play about like the uh the trade in human cargo uh, existed before european contact it existed during european contact in fact it existed after europeans outlawed it in fact it still exists today would you like to do a play on that literally in, in those two those two areas of the world the warm sandy areas of the world i mentioned yeah wait well, yeah, i want you to do a play on that oh yeah um because uh yeah, yeah, yeah. What about arranged marriages? I mean, it's essentially sexual slavery. Would you like to cover that in various cultures that are not um, white cultures? No, we're not going to cover that because, like, you're cowards and hypocrites. Listen, I don't mind you making fun of Christians. Um, as long as you're willing to go after Jews, Muslims, Hindus, uh, the Middle East situation, the African situation, but you're not. Like, most people really are fine with you going after, if you want to uh, go after, you know, the blonde, blonde uh, Trump supporter types, as long as you're also going to go after the other side, the, the cringy left wing side, which is, you know, every bit as cringy as any other side. But you don't. It's all just this. It's just another play about Christians or, or you know, put a, uh, put a cross in a jar of yellow food coloring and call it piss Christ. Yeah, that's so stunning and brave. I mean, but there are other religious symbols. Those two other Abrahamic religions. I don't know when he did that in the eighties or nineties or something. Um, you could put those symbols. I think Stone Toss did a comic on that um, in a, a jar of yellow food coloring and call it something else, or call it you know in blood, especially for the one, and um, you know call it that something creative. Yeah, but you don't do that. You just like you do the one with Christians because you know there's no consequences. Like even if you're on the left, you got to look at this. And it's like, it's, it's, aren't you embarrassed to, to, I mean, you're, it, 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 I don't, I can't imagine. I was going to say, it's like yelling at a tree or something for being a tree. It's like, it's not, it's not sentient. It's not sapient. It doesn't, uh, it, it's not, you, it doesn't like none of this is stunning and brave, but you like people like admit it, admit that you're just craven. You're just, you're just curs. You're not doing anything stunning and brave. You're not speaking truth to power. In fact, yeah, we're going to work with the FBI to rage for the machine. So, the, like, the people who actually did peacefully protest against the government, now the left wing is working with, like, the, the mainstream media, social media, big tech, and the FBI and the government. Like, that's the left wing right now. You're the, Something seems to have happened to the left. Yeah, yeah, we're making fun of Christians again. Come see our play for $225. Roll up in your Tesla. There's electric parking. Yeah, I mean you, you you've done this for the past fifty years. It's like there's other things to make fun of. There's other topics to explore. I'm, like there's got to be somebody reasonable on the left who, like, is it all the the what do they call it? Blue anon. They're just they like the people walking around, just brainwashed by by CNN. It's like, is it possible that that the mainstream globalist Marxist Frankfurt School media has been lying to you for the past sixty years? And, like, it's multi-generational brainwashing. It's not that hard to break out of it, though. It's really not. I mean, that's what alt media is great for. It will break you out in, like, two months. Anyway, hey, another play about Christians. I think this was careful enough for the algorithm. Um, and I will see you guys next episode.